On this edition of Lexington Now, Horse Mania is back. May events with Solid Waste and Bike Month. Neil Noah and welcome to Lexington Now for the week of May 9th, 2022. A popular event is back in Lexington after a hiatus of several years and the timing is perfect right after the Derby. I'm talking about Horse Mania. We caught up with one of the artists. So we're in Fayette Mall and I'm working on one of the horses for the Horse Mania project this year. Um, I named it the Wandering Horse and it is sort of like an abstract story for me. That's how, I, like when I'm working on these sort of um, maze designs, I think of maps and biology and plants and landscape. Um, and then, you know, particularly for this one, I wanted it to reflect community. So, um, you know, I have Lexington in mind as I'm working on the, you know, the design, but it is sort of like organically happening as I'm working on it. So I did draft a design, but Every time I, I sit down to do one of these, it always comes out a bit different. So there's like hidden words and, um, you know, maybe like icons that I think reflect the idea of community in Lexington. There's some posters around the mall that like show the little rendering I did. Um, and it's basically, you know, it's a dark green horse and then tons of color and line work all over it, but different. I mean, Horse Mania, <laughs> it's, a, it's a public art project and they, I think the last one that they did was in 2010. Um, and it's basically artists come in, everyone's working on these fiberglass horses and then they get put out dis on display throughout town. Um, and I think it's, you know, for, like what I was saying, like the reason why I'm thinking about community is because for me it's, it's meant to like reflect community and reflect the space that they're in. Um, I know like different states and cities do similar projects like Someone uh, yesterday from Colorado said that, oh, like in Colorado, we have cows everywhere. I know Cincinnati does pigs. I think there's a, like, I know there's, there's a lot of repeats. I know New York does cows. I grew up in New York. Um, San Francisco has hearts. So I think they're all different. And, they, you know, like each of those canvases represent the place where they're going to be. But then the idea behind all those projects is really the same, I think. It's about, you know, community and like beautifying the space. So um, I painted a mural at Cool Springs in Franklin. Um, and through that contact, I found out about the uh, Horse Mania project. So I, I actually live in Chattanooga, um, but I had done a mural for the other mall property and then I submitted my design to LexArts and then I guess the panel approved it and then it gets sent to, I guess all the sponsors and businesses who are gonna be purchasing. Um, get shown all the designs and then um, Fayette picked this one. And then actually I was like really happy surprise that uh, another local business picked up my other design. So I'm doing two horses. <laughs> Once I'm done painting them, they get sent to like have a protective clear coat sprayed on them. Um, and then um, I know that depending on how the horse was um, like purchased or sponsored, it will either be on display in a, like a public space and then it goes to auction at the end of a year or you know, I think it's kind of up to like LexArts and then the business to decide where that horse is gonna go. This one's for Fit, it's gonna stay here, like literally right here, and this one is for Fuji. I started on Monday, um, and Monday was a, like a slower start, <laughs> um, but then Tuesday and Wednesday, I've been, I did 13 and 14 hours a day. So let's say I'm at like 35 hours in so far. Um, LexArts says I have five weeks to finish, so I'm going to have five weeks to finish and I will finish if I, whatever that is. Solid Waste is putting on two free events for Lexington residents. Lauren Monahan fills us in on what they are. So we also have uh, some exciting events coming up in the month of May 2022 that we'd love to tell you about. Uh, the first um, happens on Saturday, May 14th. This is our biannual mulch giveaway. At this event, Fayette County residents can come and pick up up to a truckload's worth 
um, of mulch material. This is yard waste material that the city has collected and we have over about a six month process. Um, we've composted that down into a very rich mulch material that you can use in your yards, your garden beds, anything like that. Um, so that event will run from 8 a.m. on Saturday, May 14th until we run out of mulch or about noon. Um, so uh, try to get there early, uh, but not before eight o'clock. Um, and uh, we'll be here at 1631 Old Frankfurt Pike, where we're standing now. And um, the entrance will be via Jimmy Campbell Drive. Um, so that is um, a place where we'll have signage for you to turn in. Um, and there will be employees helping navigate residents through this event. Um, so come out on Saturday, May 14th to grab some mulch um, to beautify your yard. Uh, another event that we're holding um, the very next weekend is going to be our biannual paper shred event. Uh, this is a great way for you as you're spring cleaning. If you have uh, data sensitive paper, um, we also take manila folders, things like that. Um, if you have paper that you would like to shred securely, um, we work with Stericycle. Um, they are also locally known here as Shred It. This company works with us uh, to uh, provide this opportunity free of charge to Lexington residents where you can take up to five boxes and have that shredded at this event. So we invite you to come out for that event. That will be Saturday, May 21st, starting at 9 a.m. And we'll be here until two o'clock shredding your paper. Um, again, this is free of charge, so come on out, uh, bring your paper. We do have a few notes. Um, we cannot accept wet material at this event. Um, staples are okay, but binder clips are a little bit too big for the shredding equipment. So um, no binders or binder clips, but um, staples and paper clips should be fine for this. Uh, you can find more information on this and other events that we're hosting this spring at lexingtonky.gov slash livegreenlexington. And uh, this is a great resource um, as we have lots of events happening this spring. Uh, you can check us out. You can also call LexCall311 uh, for more information on all of these events. We hope to see you there. When we come back, May is Bike Month. Shoo-wee! So sorry, Blade. We forgot to bring a bag out with us. Dog waste can harbor viruses, bacteria, and parasites. Rain washes that down the storm drain into our local creeks. And it smells really bad. Ew! Thanks for the bag. Now we can bag it, tie it, trash it. It's that easy to keep our kids safe and our creeks clean. Now I can breathe. Welcome back to Lexington Now. May is Bike Month in Lexington and there is a full itinerary of bike related activities and events throughout the month. This year, the City of Lexington's Metropolitan Planning Organization is hosting its inaugural Bike Month. So throughout the month of May, from May 1st to 31st, you can come and enjoy different events hosted by the city that celebrate safe streets and safe biking. Some of the events we anticipate having this year include a ride challenge. We'll have a couple of different pop-up shops where people who are commuting to work can stop in, have simple fixes on their bikes, grab some coffee and some breakfast and continue on their way to work. We will also have our inaugural Street Fest event where we will be closing down a portion of Oliver Lewis Way from High Street uh, all the way to Broadway and be allowing that space to be taken up by people who want to bike, scoot, skate, or walk around the road that would normally be taken up by drivers. And we'll also have demonstrations there um, as well as exhibitors. So it'll be a big community event um, that is fun for all ages and all experience levels. Um, whether you first picked up your bike today or you're an experienced seasoned rider, we welcome everyone to come and enjoy and celebrate our love for biking. We will be hosting some safe street cycling uh, training courses where anybody can sign up. It's free. You just have to pre-register and there are a limited amount of spots. But if you would like to find out more about any of our bike uh, month events or register for those, you can visit lexingtonky.gov slash bike walk. We'll also have information about the Street Fest on that webpage. 
some events are strictly for bike riders, but we will have the Street Fest open to anyone. So whether you have a bike, whether you have a skateboard, a scooter, um, or just want to come and have some fun, you can just walk around and enjoy the many exhibits that we have there. In the city of Lexington's growing trails, we want to celebrate bike riding. Whether you commute um, to work via bike or you just like riding bike for entertainment, um, we would like you to come and celebrate uh, bikes and safe streets. So the city of Lexington received a grant for $13,500 from the Kentucky Bicycles and Bikeways Commission. Um, it's called the Paul and I Grant. It's funded by the Share the Road license plates that you'll see on cars sometimes. Um, we're going to use that money to purchase up to 32 youth bicycles to create um, a library that we'll use for programming with after school programs and summer camps, um, any kind of like informal program outside of school. We also really hope to bring it into schools at some point, but that's further down the road. We'll have a trailer that we'll store the bikes in and so it'll be a, a mobile program that we can take to community centers and um, other, other youth organizations. As of right now, it's not the kind of library where you can come check a bike out and then like take it and do your own thing with it and then bring it back. Um, it's more a, a bike library, just like an assortment of bikes that we'll be able to use for flexible programming um, in partnership with other organizations. Um, though, you know, I, I think another dream is to someday have an actual bike library. Um, I know also that Bird has e-bikes coming to Lexington, so there's, there's some options for people having access to shared bikes. Um, a, lot of, a lot of exciting bike things happening uh, this spring and summer. So as of right now, we have a pilot program scheduled with the William Wells Brown Community Center with their um, summer programming. We're going to take the bikes there on Tuesdays and work with um, 15 students in that program. And then on Saturdays, we'll organize some group rides on the Legacy Trail, um, some of them starting at William Wells Brown, and then some of them will be driving kids out to Coldstream and and using that more protected shared path there. I'm just hoping to, to really get children like you know, ex exposed to bikes and comfortable on bikes um, and, and allow that like joy and freedom of movement. So Safety City is run by the Lexington Police Department. It's a super cool, uh, like child-sized town with child-sized roads and some electric cars that were donated by Toyota. Um, Safety City is really generously allowing us to store our bikes in their garage when they're not in use. And then also we hope to be able to bring students to Safety City to ride the bikes on the, the path there. Um, I think that another, another long-term dream is incorporating the bikes into the programming that Safety City runs for second grade students all throughout Fayette County. And then have you know, the electric cars and the bikes all on the road at the same time. But there are some infrastructure adjustments that need to happen before that is a, a reality. So we're going to be doing a, a whole range of um, you know, teach kids who aren't at all familiar with bikes, of teaching them the, the very basics of, it's called the ABC quick checks, so like checking the air, the brakes, the chains, um, making sure that the bike is safe to ride. Um, and then we'll also be covering like changing flat tires um, and then getting into some of the more advanced, like, like how you ride in the road and, and commuter biking, um, things like how to like look over your shoulder before you change a lane, how to use hand signals. Um, so it'll, it'll be a, a whole range of, of, you know, getting kids like fully comfortable and adept at, at using a bike to get around however they want to. If anyone has ideas or has a program that they want us to come work with, you can reach me at ahilton at lexingtonky.gov and I, I would love to hear from people. This is very much a, a community-based project and, and we want to just support biking in the community um, and, and with getting kids on bikes as much as possible. Did you know that Lexington has a call center to better serve the citizens of the city? Each year, LexCall takes thousands of calls related to the city's varied services and programs. Here's how they do it. Hi, my name is Tracy Holman. I am a customer service representative at LexCall. Hi, I'm Andrea Williams, and I am also a customer service representative here at LexCall. LexCall is an information uh, uh, office that uh, takes calls for uh, many offices in Lexington within the urban county government, such as um, code enforcement, waste management, uh, building inspection. Uh, we transfer those calls to the necessary uh, people that are 
requested? Our call volume, it normally fluctuates. Um, it just depends now that we're going into spring, uh, the call volume may increase due to citizens cleaning out their garages or basements. Um, the customers calling in, we try to uh, stay professional and defuse the situation because they're upset that about, you know, it could be many things, trash, uh, neighbors having uh, extra stuff out that shouldn't be out. So we uh, here at LexCall pretty much uh, stay calm and professional to assist the customers in their needs. So they can either reach us by dialing 311 from their mobile um, or they can call 859-425-2255 and we also have a app so you can go to your Google Play Store and download the 311 app and you can put in service requests, um, put in any, any comments or complaints that you may have. Uh, you can use that app for that. Uh, so if your Herbie, Rosie, or Lenny are missed on your normal collection day, you can report that. Um, any code violations, you can also report. Um, and if you are just needing to ask a question regarding any building inspection concerns or planning and zoning for your council member as well, we can get that information to the correct division that it needs to go to. LexCall is your one-stop call for any city questions that you may have. You can call us for anything and we'll be able to assist you or get you to the right department. Another busy week is on tap for live meetings on LexTV and you can catch them here or streaming online. And remember, for the most accurate and up-to-date information on all city business, check out our website at LexingtonKY.gov. Now here's this week's meeting coverage. That's all for now, but as always, you can keep up with us on social media, check out the latest traffic updates on Twitter at LexRex, or catch our live traffic cams on LexingtonKY.gov. For all of us at LexTV, I'm Neil Noah, and that's it for now.